we didn't realize until later how lucky we had been. When we got out into the real world, the Fred Colas world, uh, where <laughs> when you go to, when you go to California, and you realize that all they want to do is make a movie that makes money. Um, uh, you know, I mean, you begin to realize how lucky you were to be in that particular little nest. Uh, that's a little pouch, a little womb, and it never existed before, and I suppose it won't exist again, but we were all protected by a great producer who had the guts to protect us and to inspire us to do the best we could. And um, I mean, that was just, a, that was a moment in history, you know, uh, a scintilla in time. And um, I was lucky to be part of it. You didn't realize it then? I realized that I was very lucky, but I didn't realize how exceptional it was. I didn't know, that was the only place I'd ever worked. How would I know? I didn't know that you get out and <laughs> you leave there and you're out in the, the cynical world <laughs> Where, uh, where you have to write, uh, write a long outline before the guy would even consider discussing the story with you. And then he would say, I think you ought to change this to uh, something else or this, that, based on your outline. And by the time you finish your discussion, uh, the whole, he's taken a rose and that was a rose in your mind and he's pulled the petals off and started putting dandelion petals in place of it or something. And um, it's, it's lost whatever it is. I guess for me, the key to the golden age, so-called golden age, was that a platform suddenly became available, a need to be filled, and uh, it was a writer's market, and there were a couple of brilliant producers who had the guts and the talent and the insight. And I say a couple because there probably was another one, but I'm speaking more particularly of Fred Coe. To find talent, take a chance on talent that was totally unproven and had the insight to, to be right most of the time. Uh, that was the key. There was a vacuum that needed to be filled. When television came in, there were not, you know, I mean, they needed writers, they needed dramatists. And Fred found some pretty good guys. Do you think it had an impact that went beyond the golden age? Gosh, I hope so. I mean, uh, a lot of the writers are still going, and a lot of the directors are still going, and a lot of the concepts uh, are still around, you know, I mean, and a lot of the actors got their start there, you know. Ernie Borgnine used to come, come looking for a walk-on to pay his rent, you know. And um, and uh, and Ernie, when he got, you know, Ernie became a famous actor from from starting in, and a lot of directors, same thing. Even Marie Saint started in in television. And um, hey, it was. It was a great platform for a lot of people to get their start. And now I guess, um, I guess a new, um, a new crop of um, people are there to supply whatever that need is. It's a different need now. And it's a need that I certainly can't have anything to do with. But uh, you know, life goes on, life, things change.